Shefaram. Today it is a city with about 50,000 inhabitants, over half of them Muslims, a quarter Christians, and the rest Druze. According to some historians, the city began in the time of the Canaanites. In the Roman and Byzantine periods, about 2,000 years ago, there was an important Jewish settlement mentioned in the Talmud. In the Rosh Hashanah tractate, it is written that the Sanhedrin was in Shepharam, and from Yavne, to Usha, and Usha to Shepharam, and Shepharam to Beit Shearam. In the days of the Second Temple, the Sanhedrin was in the Ha Gazet chamber in the temple. The Sanhedrin was the supreme court of the Jews, and decided the law. After the Bar Kachava revolt, the Sanhedrin moved to the Galilee and wandered from place to place. In the 4th century AD, Jews and Byzantine Christians lived in the city, and a church was also built, and after the Muslim conquest, Muslims also lived there. During the Crusades, less than a thousand years ago, the Crusaders called the city Saffron, and built a fortress to control the road from Nazareth to Acre, which was the great city. During the Crusader and Muslim Wars, the city moved from one to another. Then the Mamluks conquered and the Druze also began to settle there. In the period that followed, Jews and Christians dwindled. Daher al Omar, a Bedouin who took over the Galilee about 250 years ago, built and developed many places, including Haifa, Acre, and Tiberias. He changed the name of the city to Shefeomer. According to tradition, Omar ibn al Atz, who was a military leader in the days of Muhammad, and his conquests reached as far as Egypt. When he was in Shepharam, he drank from the spring and was healed. And this means Shafa Amar, the healing of Amar. Later, his son Otoman took control of Shepharam and built two forts in it. Al Barj was built on the ruins of the Crusader fortress. A church and a synagogue were also built, and the Jews returned to the city. Over time, the power of Christians in the city increased compared to Muslims and Druze, and Jews left due to livelihood difficulties and harassment. During the War of Independence, the Arab Salvation Army was stationed in the city. After losing the war, most of the Muslim residents abandoned their homes. After the establishment of the State of Israel, the city was mainly Christian and Druze. Over time, Many Muslims settled there, and today they make up more than half of the population.